Living on the canal system on the western end of the Great South Bay is a wonderful way to enjoy boating and fishing. Unfortunately, when strong winds blow from an easterly direction, water can pile up on the west end of the 35-mile bay. These narrow canals have their advantages when protecting boats from a storm. Having the ability to tie the boats off in the middle of the canal may be the safest place to ride out the storm for a boat. After making the canal look like a spider web, we attempted to find a place to eat so we would not touch our week's worth of canned spaghetti provisions. Okay, well, we're gonna try out our first spot for dinner. We're gonna try the lighthouse place we always go. It's in Lindenhurst. Our friend there, Tim, is the bartender. And uh, maybe we'll go there and have a nice little uh, hurricane party. We'll see what happens. And uh, well, we're here now, and it looks like it's kind of might be a little flooded. No, actually, it's boarded up. It is boarded up. So, uh, well, so much for the lighthouse for dinner. We're gonna have to have to try someplace else. All right. Well, as we uh, cruise here in Babylon, everything looks uh, looks okay. Some boats are still in the water. Rain's coming down a little bit, but not much wind. We're gonna try another little spot that we usually go to dinner and uh, see what the story is. And this place called the Pier. It's in Babylon Village, and uh, and it's open. Wonderful husband. Large. It's gonna have to last us. <laughs> it's so good. Amazing. We're gonna eat it. When in doubt, when the weather is inclement, the place to go is the pier in Babylon. Because I've been hearing blizzards, rainstorms, and now, the first, a hurricane. Everyone knows, no matter what kind of weather it is, they can come to the pier. It's good. After a day of hard work preparing for the flooding, we enjoyed an impromptu hurricane party with the neighbors. Even though this overhyped hurricane named Irene was really a tropical storm when it struck Long Island. I was still worried because of our slow speed up the coast and making landfall west of Lindenhurst. And the next high tide is 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, schedule arrival of uh, Irene. I hope for the best and we'll just, we'll just pray at this point. It was 3 a.m. and the storm has arrived. By 6 a.m., the water covered the dock. At 8 a.m., the seawater was flooding down the road and met with the canal. At 9 a.m., the bay was still rising into the streets and had crossed Montauk Highway at some points. At this time, my wife and I was expecting the worst and started lifting rugs and furniture off the floor. We were approaching high tide and we only had inches to go before seawater would enter the house. At about 9.30 a.m., the rising storm surge of about four to five feet stopped and then started to recede. A feeling of relief that we made it through another storm without water entering the house. Throughout the ordeal, we never lost power or cable, enabling me to post updates on YouTube. After the tide receded, we really had no damage at all. Our biggest loss was our stacked firewood that floated away with the descending tide.